and we've got the underpass which was very famous when I had the R8. It's quite small, quite compact little builder is it? Ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to a very angry, cold Lamborghini. <laughs> this is the first time that I think that the cold V10 has featured on my YouTube channel, actually. I was kind of hoping not to put it on so that I could just go completely nuts when I did a cold start with my new exhaust system that comes at the end of the month. However, that was just a cold start in the morning, and I'm up a lot earlier than what I was expecting to be up. I was expected to edit the video at home and I was also expected to drive this car into SB a little bit later on than today and it's still early morning rush hour so I hope that I don't hit too much traffic but at the same time there's a lot of people that walk around uh, Watford at this time and this car gets quite a lot more attention than the R8 used to and that is something that I've been completely wowed by and really wasn't expecting I don't know I just never really thought too much into how much attention a Lamborghini got over an R8 but this gets so much more attention looks photos than my R8 did when it was baby blue which was the brightest color and probably its most best its best looking color and you can just hear a I don't know why I just did that on YouTube, but anyway. For the first weekend in quite a long time, I haven't really got any plans away from with, with cars or any car events, any filming. So what I'm gonna do is try and film the review of this car. Maybe another video, but we're not too sure yet. So we've made it to SB, and as you can see, it is a gloomy day. I cannot believe the luck that we had yesterday with Jonathan going out in the car with the blue sky. And look at this, this is the 458 with army tricks and ADV1s. The center caps are off because I think the wheels have just been put back on that car, but it's got the army tricks full decat. There is a video of that when I went out in it and it is stupidly loud. It's amazing, <laughs> it spits flames and everything. Right, so as you can see, I'm in the SB office, but as you can hear, it seems like some sort of disco is going on over there. <laughs> no idea, but anyway, I am getting cracking with the editing. And check out how cool the 458 looks next to the Lamborghini. Don't know what this music is going to do for my content ID, so I'm going to move over this side of the office so that you don't hear it. But what I'm going to be doing now is editing the video, then I need to... <laughs> stupidly go back home to get some more stuff that needs to happen including my diary and then um, I'm gonna be on my emails and just doing bits and pieces but the fact that I need to go back home means that I get to drive the car again so even though it's raining it's still a lot of fun <laughs> currently editing the Sakoni Journey video it is hilarious you'd have already seen it but because this is me w uh, watching it and re-watching the footage for the first time it is amazing. I can't wait to finish this video, edit it up, make a 15 second little Instagram video just so that, <laughs> oh my God, this is gonna be, it's one of my most favorite videos I've ever done. So I need to get some more reaction videos sort of planned. Um, I'm speaking to Sam at the moment, trying to get him in the car. Uh, we did a bit of an acceleration, but I've never actually like planted my foot on the floor in course mode with him on camera. So we'll do that. Shush. <laughs> These guys shush. In the final stages of editing, I am now converting the video right there, as you can see. And another Ferrari 458 has turned up on the security camera right here. You can see it. There's the 458 and there's the other one. So today we've got some modern cars and you can, it just started up just started up. What I'm going to do as well is I've been um, editing the video with Jonathan Sakoni Joe Lee. And I feel like there's a little clicking noise coming from either my camera or my suction mount. So I'm gonna um, go into the Lamborghini. Nice. I'm gonna go into the Lamborghini, try and sort out the suction mount, maybe go for a little drive and test it, and hopefully fix that problem. 
typically it is raining. As soon as September comes, it rains. So I want to try and test out the... Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. I want to try and test out this is like rattling or something so I need to make sure that it is fully secure and there is no option for a rattle. <sighs> that looks secure. <laughs> this weather's bad though. I've got the windscreen wipers on full and this is probably the best test in terms of making sure that this is put on properly and there's no squeaky, there's no rattle or anything like that. The annoying thing is I won't be able to tell whether there's a rattle until I um, come to edit the video. So I've just put it on as securely as possible. This road is very bumpy. Very bumpy. It's quite small, quite compact little builder, is it? That back end twitched. Hope it sounded good. Felt good. I'm going back to swap this for the A1. Why? Because I need an extra seat for the activity for the evening. We are going to Top Golf with the guys from SB. So what I'm going to do is probably take this video camera shove it in my pocket and try and secretly film some Barry and Stuart as they swing and try and score some points but also I'll probably let them in on the secret halfway through and then get them to try and film me take some of the shots as well but I'll definitely be taking my camera to Top Golf. Told you the next clip would be me in the A1 cruising. This feels so high. I tried putting my seat down even though that I knew full well that I'd left the seat how I'd always leave it but it just confused me that how high this car is for the last sort of 24 hours I've only been in the Lamborghini so one it was really it's really nice to have this car back there's not so much road you don't feel so much road and this is definitely the reason why I got the A1 as the daily car because the next time I jump in the Lamborghini is gonna go back to being really, really special and I just never ever wanna get used to the fact that I'm driving a Lamborghini because that's where I failed having just the R8. Right, is it recording? It's not gonna turn off? Right, okay. I've got an announcement to make. I apologize for yesterday evening. The last clip was me in the A1 talking about how excited I am for Top Golf with the guys from SB and how I was gonna secretly film them on camera and then let them in on the secret and then let, get them to film me a bit. We did go to Top Gear, uh, Top Gear, Top Golf last night. However, for some reason, this camera wasn't playing, well, it was playing up to the camera, whatever it, I don't know. It was annoying and it wasn't recording properly. This lens here, is kind of coming to the end of its life. So whether that means that next week I'm gonna to have to start thinking about upgrading my equipment, I'm not entirely too sure. But the, today is now Saturday. So the video started on Friday and now you're watching it on the day of actually going online. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm gonna to have to sign off now. Then I'm gonna get the Lamborghini and doing a review in the beautiful sunshine. So make sure that you're staying tuned for that, which is gonna be going live tomorrow at 5 p.m. Thank you for watching as always and thank you for the support. Make sure that you subscribe if you're new because there's going to be a whole load of awesome content coming soon not just from the UK but also the supercars of London clothing is coming next weekend so make sure that you're following all of the relevant Instagram and Twitter pages that I'm going to be putting in the description below thanks for watching and I'll see you tomorrow oh, Jesus Christ, there's no <laughs> you just need some uh, Fuck, there's no thing the whole line Joe <laughs> Let's put it into sport mode. Oh, <laughs> oh she said that is a road. The road does end at some point. <laughs> oh. You want to take off? <laughs> it's definitely a crowd pleaser. <laughs> it's just not a Jonathan pleaser. It's not the course or anything. Jesus Christ. <laughs> what the fuck was that?